This spring, Operation Primetime proudly presents a television event. Ingrid Bergman returns to the screen, portraying the most honored woman of the 20th century, Golda Meir. If I am not for myself, then who will be for me? But if I am for myself only, then what am I? I'm going to live in a kibbutz. It's a hard life from what I've been told, even dangerous sometimes. Romantic, it's not. So, why get into it? Because this is the dream I've had. So you're saying, if I won't go, you won't marry me? I can't very well, can I? But if I'll go, you will. I'd love to marry you, Morris. I'm sorry, Golda. I'm not going. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> You're the Myersons. Yes, this is Morris Myerson, my husband, and I'm Golda. I knew what I was up against when I heard Mr. Ben-Gurion was sending you. You are a formidable person, Mrs. Myerson. Mind you, only these very young children. And their parents, if they have parents left alive, you can't separate them naturally. Naturally. But you do understand this will have to be done under the regular monthly immigration quota. The number going out of turn will have to be subtracted. And those who are waiting to go in turn will have to agree to let the others jump to the head of the queue. I've made arrangements to talk to some of the leaders. Now you know why Ben Gurion gave me this job. Why? Nobody else would touch it. One year I'm rotting in this place. One whole year. You're trying to say somebody who came last week should go ahead of me. No, I'm saying a child, yes. I'm sick myself. If I'll stay much longer, I'll die here. No, no, we're trying to get you all off. But the children first. How I wish you could have seen them on the beaches, meeting the ships that managed to get through. These youngsters, 16, 17-year-old boys and girls, with no memory of persecution, no experience of suffering. To risk their lives, to jump into the waves and carry, actually carry the Jewish immigrants ashore. Some of the survivors told me they cried for the first time after all that they had been through. This made them shed tears. I know if you had seen these blessed children of ours, you would want every child here to have the chance to grow up like them Erect, confident, strong, and pure as the son of Palestine. Shalom, children. You know, in the land of Israel, we love flowers, so. On the Shabbat table, there may be candles, maybe not, and maybe not so much to eat. There are always flowers. Is this what flowers look like? I never saw a real one. You never saw a flower? No. Dear God. Mrs. Uh, Meyerson?
Well, we voted. And? And by a big majority, the children can go first. My dear friend. Thank you. This is a very important man. He holds the key vote on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Let's talk tanks. The Egyptians have the Russian T-62, an excellent tank. It's faster than your M551 Sheridan and has heavier armor. But the Sheridan has a heavier cannon. Yes, but the Sheridan is too light for the recoil of such a heavy cannon. It shakes the laser rangefinder out of enlightenment. And also the Sheridan has a blind spot at the range of 1,000 to 1,200 yards. Oh, Senator, please. Sell us the M60. All right. What about the recipe for your honey cake? We'll never see each other again. Good Do you really think that you can talk me out of going? Not for a minute. I have to leave. I have to leave right now. I know. What a life. Not even time to say goodbye. And now, I want to say something to President Sadat. As an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> I would say this. <laughs> You always called me the old lady. You know? <laughs> As an old lady, my great hope is to live to see the day of peace between you and us, between all our neighbors and us. And as a grandmother to a grandfather. <laughs> Although you are just a new grandfather, I have a little gift for your granddaughter. Golda Meir. This is her very personal story, one that has inspired the entire world. This powerful four-hour presentation captures her personal triumph and the struggle for survival in a new land. This spring, Ingrid Bergman is a woman called Golden.